We end the second week out from the marathon and I'm finally beginning to run again. So today's run is not going to be particularly challenging and it's very simple because the only thing we are going to do is run for a duration of 50 minutes and we're going to do the entire run in zone two because in this second week we're just going to start up the body beginning to run again and we're not looking to do any intense speed work or similar things like that so let's get in some running clothes and let's head out there by the way check out my t-shirt i'm of course wearing the soul marathon t-shirt even though there's probably not so many people out running at the moment, but I've really been looking forward to this, so let's head out. Ten kilometers done in 52 minutes and 40 seconds at a pace of 5 minutes and 15 seconds per kilometer and with an average heart rate of 142 beats per minute. Now I'm just walking the traditional one kilometer to cool down the legs and then I will see you inside. I just made a bowl of oatmeal which I'm going to eat and then we will head out the door again because we are headed down to the gym to do a pull session before the lectures that I have later today at campus. I just finished up eating the oatmeal and now I'm on my way down to the gym to do the pull session. So let's get to it. I just finished up the training and I'm now on my way back home to the apartment. So this was the last training of today and because I'm back running, I think we should celebrate it by going on a little adventure later on today. But I will talk more about that when I see you at lunch later on. I'm just about to eat my lunch before heading off to school and completing the lectures that I have for today. And for breakfast, I just made a bunch of different vegetables that I fried in some soy sauce and then I put some tuna and a couple of eggs on top. So the plans that I mentioned earlier on the way home from the gym is that I think we should celebrate that I'm back running with a bit of food exploring here in Korea. So when I arrived here in Korea a couple of months ago, I immediately got drawn to those little purple sweet potatoes because I find them to be very delicious. And through some research, I found out that it is one of the most popular winter street foods here in Korea. So because I have pretty much tried every Korean food that was on my list before coming here, I think it's appropriate to celebrate our run earlier today with trying the street food version of the sweet potatoes. And 
besides that i also need to try and taste those little fish desserts with the red bean paste inside because i haven't tried that either so now i'll just eat my lunch and then head over to the campus and do my lectures and then i will see you later when we head out to the myeongdong night market and try to find those two kind of street foods i've just left campus after completing my last lecture of today which was business statistics. Now I'm headed down towards the bus to get out to the Myeongdong night market in the hopes of finding those sweet potatoes that I mentioned earlier, which is called Gunggu Ma. And in addition to that, I'm also on the hunt for those fish desserts, which is called Bun Gyo Pang. So I will just see you out at the night market. We made it to Myeongdong. So let's head inside the market and see if we can find what we're searching for. Just take a look at how incredible this place is. There is so many things and it's so easy to get lost in the infinity of different fruits and products that they serve here at the Myeongdong night market. If you've never been here but have the chance, I would definitely recommend you to stop by. It's such a cool place. It looks like we already found what we're looking for. Quick success. So I will just head over there and see if I can get my hands on a potato. Sweet potato acquired. So let's give it a taste. Oh, it tastes even better than I remembered. I really love these sweet potatoes. Now I'm just going to enjoy my sweet potato and then I will continue the hunt for the fish dessert. Everything is going down, even the outside. Okay, so in the search of the fish dessert, I came across a food stand which served these egg breads, which are called Gian Pang. And it's also a Korean street food that I haven't tried yet, so I think it's a perfect chance to give it a shot as well. Egg bread acquired, so let's see how it tastes. Mm, it's pretty good. It's just a form of sweet bread with egg on top, but it tastes very good. Now I will just finish this and continue the search for the fish dessert. Three out of three, the fish dessert is located. So I will be back in a moment. Fish dessert acquired. And you could choose between four different tastes, which included Nutella and that kind of stuff. But I went for the red bean paste because I feel like that's the most traditional one. So let's give it a shot. Yep. It tastes pretty good, just like a dessert should. A very sugary taste. Last bite. So this was definitely a 3 out of 3 because everything was very delicious. But I must say that the sweet potato was without a doubt number one, as I expect. So this has been a great end to a very nice day of finally being back in the running game. And then celebrating with these street food adventures. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video and enjoyed following me through this adventure. And besides that, I only have one thing left to do, which is to wish you a great day. Take care.